Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use Panda's left arm and right arm to do march. So basically, um, the idea of left arm and right arm with Panda's march is for you to march two data frames together that have similar or in a duplicate data but different column names so i'm going to demonstrate this in a minute so i've created some data frames here to use for this tutorial and pd just stands for pandas so earlier i just did um import pandas as pd okay so that's what pd stands for So let's go ahead and do LS and MS. So as you can see, this is my, actually I want to use the RS data set. So this is my RS data set and this is my MS data set. And basically if you look here, you see that driver and employees have the exact same data but they have um, different names. So naturally you cannot use this, you cannot merge these two data frames together because they don't have any column names in common. Same goes with money and salary. Um, workers and managers, they all have the same data, but different names, so you can't merge them together. And I'm going to, if you try to merge them together to throw an error. So let me go ahead and demonstrate that real quick and then show you how to merge two data frames together that have um, different column names but um, similar but the exact same data. So let's call this um, error because I know this is going to throw an error. pd.merge and let's call let's do rsms and that's it. That's all we need for now. And if we run this, it says merge error. And then when you scroll down, it says no common columns to perform merge on. Merge options, left on, right on, left index, right index. So basically, even though this exact same data sets were um, the same, it wasn't able to do the merge because the column names are not the same. But we can solve that easy by doing... Um, let me go ahead and delete this output. So I went ahead and deleted the error message. And now let's do what we actually came here to do. So let's call this um, left, right. And let's do pd.merge. And let's do rs, ms, which is the two data frames we are mar merging. And let's do left on. So um, the left data set is RS and the column name is driver. The column we are going to match on is driver because that's what matches with employees. And let's do driver. So you're basically saying on the left side of the, uh, um, on the left data set, what is the name of the column to march on? And let's do right on. is equal to let's call it employees and basically you're saying on the right um, data set what data frame what column should we use to, to do the march on so basically this is how left on right on works let's go ahead and execute this and see the result now let's do left right so this is what the results look like we have um, the left data set, which is manager, salary, driver, and then we have workers, money, employee, you know. So basically that is how you will be able to merge two data sets um, together that um, doesn't have the same column names, that doesn't have any column names in common. Now what if we use um, one that doesn't have similar data sets, so let's just use money here. And see what happens actually i'm going to leave this as employees and 
what happens if we change um, this to money? Unless God is to say to throw a value error. Okay. You are trying to merge an object and integer columns. If you wish to proceed, you should use pd.concat. Okay. Now let's um, try, maybe not money, let's try workers and see what happens. All right, and let's see left or right. Nothing. See, it doesn't show you anything because um, the data on the workers column from this um, right side doesn't match driver data from the left side. So if you're using left arm and right on the data, have to have they have to have something in common you know between between them now let's try um, a different data set let's look at what the ot head looks like and i'm just going to type in the ms head again so this is the ot data set and this is the ms data set employees and drivers have similar data have um duplicate data so we are going to try to merge on this so in this case we are merging on ot is on the left side so on the left side we have ot and we want to use driver as the mar margin column and on the right side we have um, ms and we want to use employees as the margin column all right now let's go ahead and execute this and let's see what the result looks like so this is what we have left so it did an inner merge here so basically um it's used um driver and employees and as you can see josh adam okay was common it dropped amy and it dropped no way and drive because those columns were not common between both of them and then just combined it now what if we do an outer merge how would this look like how uh, equal to inner merge is the default for pandas merge so even though we didn't specify how here it just did an inner merge automatically and it's used um, left on driver right on employees to find um the column that's common between both of them so let's call this um outer and let's see what the result looks like okay so this is what i was trying to show you so with outer merge the way outer merge works is that it um combines data, um, the first data set with the second data set and whatever doesn't match between both of them will get NAN okay so as you can see here um, this gets NAN from the first data set and the second one has it and then this first one has NAN here and what well, I think this is the second data set but anyway, the point is with outer merge and you get NAN wherever the data sets, wherever there's not matching data sets. So right here, as you can see, right? Once we run and execute um, this code, we have duplicate data. We have salary and we also have money. We have driver and we have employees. So we do not want um, this duplicate data. You can easily drop the duplicate data by after at the end of your code, you could do dot drop and then um, you specify which columns to drop. And in this case, let's just drop salary. And then we specify the axis. So axis equal to zero means rows. Axis equal to one means column. So we want to drop um, salary. We we could also um, drop the driver column. 
but let's just go ahead and execute this and let's see what happens so food left right as you can see it's the exact same thing as this but now the salary column column which is duplicate of money column has been dropped now could we do this um Could we do this and us since we are using employees here but employees is duplicates of driver could we drop employees and uh or driver well let's find out so we may have to put it in a list and let's see let's try to drop employees And let's see what happens. And let's say left, right, six. As you can see, so it did merge on, it did use left on and right on merge, and it dropped employees and it dropped salary. Very salary. It dropped employees and it dropped salary, both of which were duplicate data. So that's how to drop duplicate data from your final data frame so that's a bit a brief tutorial on how to use left on right on merge with pandas and python if you want to um read more about inner merge and outer merge just go to evidencen.com slash pandas merge and from here, you can read my detailed blog post about the different types of merge that um, you can use. So it's a very long blog post. You can click here on the table of content to get what you want to use. And if you want to get access to this notebook that I used today's, in today's um, tutorial, you just go to machinelearningeducation.com. And from here, you can get access to my free data science resources. So if you go to machinelearningeducation.com, um, I have different resources. And if you click on view bundle, it will take you to machinelearningeducation.com slash free data science resources. So I'm going to post this link in the description below. And from here, you can um, basically get a free access to the different resources that I have. I have data science cheat sheets, I have data science job and career resources, and I have the data science tutorials. So under data science tutorials is where I have all my Python notebooks. So any Python notebooks that I use in for tutorials in this YouTube channel or on my blog post is here under data science tutorials. So you can just go here to get it. And um and I'm going to be adding more resources as time goes by. Anyway, um, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I make tutorial data science videos. And I'll talk to you again in the future. Bye.